Hello everyone, hope you're doing well and staying safe. Happy New Year! And if you are in Russia, um, I hope your New Year is going well so far. This is going to be part 2 of the 3JS tutorial, and we're going to upload our projects to a website so you can have them live for family and friends and coworkers, loved ones to view. Um, so to get started, just go to your web browser, and I already have the web page here, but it's glitch.com, so, yep, it's just glitch.com, and from here, this is going to be what we're going to be using to upload our Node.js project. I've tried using GitHub pages, but it doesn't support Node projects because it only serves static pages, and because Node is a client-server type based project, you need to have something that supports both client and server based web pages. So um, for this, you need to create a an account. So click on sign up, and you come here and sign up. I already have an account, so I'm just going to go to my account right quick. So once you sign up, this will be your um, first page that you come to. Um, as you can see, I do have some data used already because I was testing this earlier, making sure it worked. But for this example, what we want to do is come to this upper right hand corner, click New Project, and go to Hello Express. This is a simple Express node app. It's going to load your project here. And once it's done, it will give you all the information as seen here. Um, just as a side note, I am using Visual Studio Code, so in case you are um, joining me and you don't have VS Code installed, please go to code.visualstudio.com and download it for your uh, operating system. Um, so now that we have this set up, what we want to do is come here. You can change your um, project name if you want. So for this, I'm just going to put 3 dash or 3js-globe-tutorial uh, let me spell tutorial tutorial proper um, this is going to be unique so not everyone's going to be able to use this name I'll be using this name, please name this as you seem fit so now this is renamed and so from here what I want to do is come back to this in a moment but I need to create a folder on my desktop and I'm going to call this update and then I'm going to open VS Code so I say VSC open Visual Studio Code and then I'm going to go to File Open Folder go to my desktop and my desktop I'm going to update so now that I have this installed what I want to do is come to my view up here and then what I want to do is go to my command palette in my command palette I'm going to do git clone so now that I have my git clone here I want to go back to my glitch project and come to tools import export and right here this is going to be your unique um, URL. It says your projects get URL. Um, I'm going to hide this out just because I think this is unique to me so I don't want to have you guys posting to my URL by accident. So then from here I'm going to come to my VS Code and I'm going to paste it this in here. Again, I'm going to block it out so you guys don't <laughs> do that. And then it's going to open up a folder. In this folder I'm going to go to my desktop, go to update, and say select repository location. Now it is going to ask me if I want to open the repository. I'm going to click open. Now it's opening the folder where my repository was located. Now what I'm going to do is come to my view command palette. Then I'm going to say create branch. In this branch I'm going to give it a name and I'm going to say 3js dash uh, new dash branch. You can call this however you want. So now it is going to. Uh, now we're inside our 3GS new branch. You can see in the lower left hand corner it says 3GS dash new dash branch. So once this 
branch is done, what we want to do is make our changes. So um, what you want to do is go to your project folder that you had the 3JS um, project stored in. For me, uh, I'm just using my um, my end folder that I created. So if you want to use that, just go to uh, was it GitHub.com for slash David Grace. I believe it's this. And then in here, just go to repositories and go to 3GS Tutorial Globe. And then just, um, if you want to use the folder I'm using, you can just click code and download zip. And then, yeah, here just download zip, save file, desktop. And then if you go to, it's this, my bad. And then you say extract here. And it's just this folder right here. So if you want to follow along with what I'm doing, it's just this folder. But um, yeah, but that's just all I have open. It's just this. So um, minus the node modules. So anyways, this is what I have. It has my node modules, public app, package, and package. So I'm just going to copy all of this um, from our previous project. And then I'm going to go to update. And update, I'm going to go inside of my 3JS globe tutorial folder. And I'm going to paste it into the folder here. So I'm going to right click and paste, or you can just press control B. I'll copy all of this over into here. Um, so once this pop ups, pops up, just say replace the files in the destination folder. Um, you can refresh this if you want. And then you can see that we have all the necessary information here. Um, we do not need the views folder, so you can get rid of that. So coming back to our VS code, we have all of this here. Um, inside of our server, it looks like this, and what we're using is this. So instead of having our app do this local um, HTTP, I'm going to come to my server.js, the folder that we have. I'm going to copy this code and paste it into here. Um, I'm going to comment this line of code out for the app.listen and just do const listener equals app.listen and just do it this way and save it here um, because this will not work. So once this is done, what we want to do now is come down to our uh, git thing, our git here, our source control here. So once we have this done, what we want to do is enter a message right here in the box. So I'm just going to type in um, 3JS uh, globe to internet and then I'm going to press the commit checkbox here I can say there are no stage commits we'd like to stage all your changes and commit them directly press yes then it's going to go and take all these 1892 files and put them inside of the commit okay once this is done you can see that all of the changes are now at zero, and you want to click on the ellipses here, the three dots, and say push. It's going to say, would you like, has no upstream, would you like to publish this branch? Click OK. So now it's pushing all of the commits to our glitch.com project folder, and, and you can see right here, it's synchronizing changes. Then on the lower right hand corner, it's going to ask if you like to pre LP run git fetch. I'm just going to say ask me later. That's it for the VS code. You can exile this if you want and keep it open. So now that we have this uh, open, our web browser open with our project folder, we want to go to tools and want to go to terminal. Inside of our terminal, 
what we want to do is say git, and then merge, and then we're going to merge the name of the branch that we created. In my case, it's 3js-new-branch. So this would be 3js-new-branch. Let me just double check. New branch, new branch. So press enter. It's going to say updating, blah, blah, blah. It said blah, blah, blah. It's going to give you all this information. And then it will say, if all goes well, it'll just give you a timestamp and then app at and then the name of your app. Once this is done, all you do is type in our terminal refresh. It's going to refresh the page. And as you can see, now we have our server.js, package.json, app. Then we have the readme, which is what we had open. And then if we go to public, we have our CSS, data, images, JS, index script, style, all of that. And then in our assets, we don't have any assets. So now that we have this done, what we want to do to make sure it runs is click on this show drop down menu and you can do in code if you want but because this is a full screen that we programmed in I'm going to say new window opens up a new window and you have our beautiful earth by obviously for me it's my name for you it probably would be your name and then we have it running so say for instance I wanted to go to my countries click on the box here and then it is running as if it were um, live because it is live. So I click on here, just make sure all this works. Liechtenstein, Belarus, and then we go to Hong Kong, and let's go to Australia. Cool. So now that this is done, and to make sure that this works, I'm going to copy this right here. Then I'm going to open, probably open Edge different browser just make sure that this runs properly so edge is open do a new tab just copy and paste this in here and it should give me my application so now as you can see my application is running on the internet with no charge to me it's free uh, well free quote unquote no charge to me financially but yeah, now your 3GS project is up and running on the internet for your family, friends, loved ones, coworkers, server you want to show to can now see it live. Um, just keep in mind uh, for glitch.com, I'm not sure if you saw it earlier, but if I go back to glitch, let me close out of here, you only get 1,000 hours per month free and you have, and I have two out of a thousand used, so just keep that in mind. Um, you can pay for more if you want to boost yours, but I, for one, am not really doing these for um, other people to use. I'm just doing it for fun and to expand my knowledge. Regardless, congratulations, your project is now live on the internet for everyone to see. And yep, that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and um, I'll be posting new videos maybe soon I start a new job so we'll see how <laughs> these videos work but I have some projects in my mind just trying to f finish them off anyways have a great rest of your January everyone or whatever month it is when you're viewing this video and yep talk with you later peace